All right, this is going to be a quick little video about how to use uh, mouse press and key press to increase or decrease variables. Uh, so we start off with the same thing. We have create canvas, background, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, what I want to do is just make a variable that's going to go up or down. So I'm going to have my text. Let's say it's a score, and we'll just put it somewhere in the screen. Uh, let's see. Okay. So we've got that in there. Now it's saying there's an error because I haven't defined score. So we're going to let score and we'll say that equals zero to start. Okay. So now that error should go away. Perfect. We've got zero. Excellent. Now, how do I make that go up? Well, one way to do it is maybe every time I press the mouse, it's going to increase by one. So I can write a new function. Notice this is outside this function block. And there's, it's pre-made in the program already. It's called mess, mouse pressed, meaning every time that I press the mouse, it's going to call this function. It's going to make the function run. And so every time this function runs, I want the score to increase by one. Now there's two ways to do this. I could say, hey, score plus one. And now if I hit play, if I keep on clicking on the mouse, it goes up by one. I could make it go up by like four and it would do that too. Now there is a faster way if you only want this to go up by one though, you could just go like plus plus. Okay, so now every time I click it, it's going up by one. But how do I make it go down then? Well, we have to make a different, use a different function. So maybe let's use the keyboard. So function, uh, key pressed. And every time you press the keyboard, Whatever is inside of these curly braces is going to run. So in this case, I want the score to go down by one each time. So I go score minus one. So now if I click on the mouse, it goes up by one. And if I click any key on the board, it goes down by one. Again, you could make this go down by like four. So if I click over here, it does go into the negatives as well. There is another way to do this, just like this plus plus. You could also just put minus minus. So now if I keep on clicking with the mouse, then I click with the keyboard, it's going to go down by one. And that's it. And no matter whatever you put inside of here, this key pressed, it's going to run it only when you hit the keyboard. Same for the mouse. 